This is where it gets interesting. All aboard the new 2K Cruise. On the PS4, Xbox One, Nintendo Switch, and PC platforms, 2K gamers will show out and compete in an all new dedicated basketball community. A neighborhood built on the spacious decks of a sailing cruise ship. I told myself that after such a terrible year from 2K, that I would not get excited over any news. But did you just hear that intro? We hooping where? I'm not gonna lie, that's got me a little excited, but I'm setting myself up for disappointment, so I'ma chill and just tell y'all all the news you need to know. Real quick, drop a like if you're playing Park most of the year this year, and drop a comment if you were my team head, because both of y'all got mad info you need to hear. And unfortunately, one of y'all has a major decision to make. Let's get into it. So I think I speak for everybody when I say, we don't care how much sweat they put on Dirk Nowitzki's face, okay? Major congrats to the cover athletes. Luca, you still looking mad cute, my guy, but like, I I'm so, like, we just don't care, bro. All right, here we go. The biggest new features. I feel like with all the exposed videos I've dropped and all the times quote unquote toxic grinding has come out, people view me as a negative person. So you know what? I'm gonna start with the only negative news I could find in this article. When I read this line right here, stamina has been a problem in 2K for a few years. I was like, facts, we don't get enough stamina. I'd be doing three crossovers with what's supposed to be an NBA caliber athlete and my dude huffing and puffing like he 462 pounds. So I was like, bet they finna give us more stamina. Finally, we've been asking for this for years. Yeah, it didn't quite go like that. There isn't enough of a tax or a decline in skill for abusing turbo or wait for it, over dribbling. Can I get a moment of silence for my ISO players, bro? They hate y'all. I don't know what y'all did, bro. Which one of y'all kicked Mike Wang's puppy, bro? One of y'all kicked Mike Wang's puppy in the face and he's held a grudge for years because he stay punishing ISO players. Now, I will say this. They said the same thing on 2K19 and we all know 2K19 was cheesy with the dribbling, okay? So we still have hope. They might go back on this, but if they don't, Looks like screens is gonna be the meta again. Now, I'm not trying to make y'all sad out here. So we're gonna follow up the most negative news with the most positive news in the article. This is where it gets interesting. All aboard the new 2K Cruise. On the PS4, Xbox One, Nintendo Switch, and PC platforms, 2K gamers will show out and compete in an all new dedicated basketball community. A neighborhood built on the spacious decks of a sailing cruise ship. I'm not gonna lie, I could've just told y'all it was on a cruise ship. It, but I wanted to show y'all that I could read because y'all be flaming me. I am not that old yet, all right? But listen, bro, a cruise ship on current gen might be kind of game changing. I'm not gonna lie, I've been telling myself this whole time, no matter what, I'm starting on next gen because I wanna see what's new. I didn't spend a couple hundred bucks on a brand new console to play current gen, but I'm not gonna lie, this cruise ship got me mad excited, bro. I don't know where to go, but let's hear what next gen's got to offer. On PS5 and Xbox Series X, the city returns. Bruh. All right, let me chill. They're changing this city up. Okay, it's not gonna be the same city. At least I hope. I mean, we, we all remember the Ronnie 2K. That's not the neighborhood, but you can believe whatever you want. So I'm taking this with a grain of salt, but they said they're changing it. The first change comes with Rookieville. They're taking out the game. That's good. Rookieville was pointless. I hated it. It was pointless. The next change is kind of a big one. If you're a My Career player, it appears there will not be an elaborate cinematic story component to the My Career journey this year. Instead, players will be turned loose to level up their My Player in their own way within the city. There's a new quest system that is designed to open up new content while also providing an opportunity to level up your character. Personally, I love this. I haven't been a My Career head since like 2K14. If you ask me anything about the past five to six My Career storylines, I couldn't tell you a thing because I'd just be skipping the cutscenes to get to the part. So having a new way to get your player up without doing the same repetitive playing an NBA game, do this to get this certain badge, I'm kind of excited for it. But at the same time, I do feel for my My Career heads bro i grew up playing my career. i used to love my career. i used to brag to my friends in high school about scoring 30 points in a my career game as you can probably tell 
I had very little friends. Now as cool as the cruise ship is, it seems like they're putting more focus into the city because they elaborate even more in the article. Step into an all new city teeming with life, activity, and interactivity. I'm not gonna lie, I said that last word weird, we gonna ignore it. NPCs populate the fresh city layout while my players from all over the world compete in the highest level of playground basketball. An all new quest system for 2K22 engages my players with creative content while offering new ways to level up and earn rewards. Now, if y'all don't have a next-gen console, let me tell you, these quests got your player up so much faster than my career last year. Like, they got them up mad quick. So I'm just saying, if you play it on the PS5 or Xbox X, don't sleep on these quests. Now, the moment of truth, y'all, I'm gonna let y'all decide for me in the comments. Where are we going to start off 22? Are we going to the cruise or are we going to the city? I just got a text. Leave me alone. Comment it down below, y'all. Like for the city, like for the cruise. The person with the most likes is where we going next year. Now, enough about my career. Enough about the new parks. Let's get into some multiplayer news. Matchmaking options in the city on PS5 and Xbox Series X. Do y'all know what this means? No more waiting around in dead parks hoping and praying a person gets on your court to play the game. The city opens up new and quicker alternatives to get into online hoops my players can enter select matchmaking buildings to be placed into immediate competition matchmaking sessions will be available for a number of game types and will contribute to all my player progress now the question is which game types are we talking about because we've already had it for the wreck so i'm guessing they mean the park we've had 3v3 the only thing that would be new is if there is 2v2 matchmaking year round. Listen bro, as much as I love the park experience and having y'all flood the courts and try and play me and all that, I love that, trust me, I do. It's what made me feel like I was really a 2K YouTuber, you know what I mean? But even with all that, if they make a 2v2 matchmaking, I'm gonna have to try that out first week. I I'm sorry, but that would just be so dope. You would play all types of people, people that you would never even see in your park. And imagine if they had a 2v2 matchmaking leaderboards with the number one duo on the top. All right, I'm giving 2K too much credit, bro. They're probably not gonna do that. But hey, if y'all watching this video and you can put that in real quick, I promise you the community would love that. Okay, so we got news about the new parks. We got news about the new matchmaking feature, all dope. But let's get into what really matters, the gameplay news. I'm pretty sure everybody knows this, but just in case you don't, we could be playing in outer space, but we could have the craziest park ever. But if the gameplay is bad, the game is bad. It's as simple as that. Now they don't go too in depth on the gameplay, but they do say this. Defense, a completely revamped shot contest and blocking system highlight an arsenal of new defensive tools at your disposal. I'm guessing that means RIP stretch big shooting overheads. RIP 2K19, you will be missed. Stretch big grinding was the GOAT. Playing suffocating defense on the perimeter and the paint has never felt more rewarding, giving elite defenders the ability to truly change the outcome of the game. If this is true, this is great news, bro. I don't know if y'all know this, but lockdowns were useless on current gen, bro. They would get speed glitched and destroyed. Or what do y'all call it? Bopped. I bopped. They would get bopped. So if they make it where people who actually have stick on defense are able to get stops, I'm all for it. And the offense, breaking down defenders off the dribble with new signature moves and combos, precision jump shooting, dunking in traffic, and pulling off alley-oops have all become more skill-based. I'm not gonna lie, I call cap on this, bro. They said they're putting contact dunk alley-oops. In what way could that be skill-based, bro? Like, in what way? I'm not gonna harp too much on this because 2K isn't really, like, the most skilled game, you know what I'm saying? Like, you could have skill, but it's not really a huge skill gap. But we're gonna have to see. Basketball IQ and stick skills play an even bigger role in separating top offensive players. As long as speed glitching isn't there, I'm happy, okay? And I'm gonna get a bunch of stage in my comments being like, oh, you can't guard it. Of course I can't guard it. It's a glitch. It's not supposed to be there. Damn, I sounded so old right there. Do not call me an old head, bruh. I... I'm still young, I'm in my prime. And the last thing this article has to offer, 2K might be the only major sports title that allows you to win without decent IQ for the sport you're playing. That's facts, bro. There's some people who play 2K who have never picked up a basketball in their life, which is fine. It's a video game and they're fans of the NBA. That's why they're playing 2K. But I'm just saying like IQ should have a decent effect in the game. And last but not least, my My Team heads, they are reintroducing the My Team Draft feature. Now this is kind of exciting. The last time I 
have played my team competitively or at least semi-competitively was NBA 2K20. But if they introduce a my team draft that's kind of like mud draft, I would 1000% be down to play that, bro. Like if you don't have to actually buy the players and spend money on it, and you could just draft a team and play against people who also drafted a team, I think that would be dope. If that's not what it was like at all, I'm sorry. Again, I'm not a my team head. I don't know. That's just what pops up in my head whenever I think of my team draft. But y'all let me know in the comments if y'all are excited for that. But anyways, y'all, that's all the news we got for today. Let me know y'all's thoughts. Are you going to the cruise? Are you going to the city? Do you even have a next-gen console yet? I need to know these things. Trust me, I have been stressing over what game I'm gonna play first, bro. Please let me know. And if you've taken a break, from my channel this year because the game is dry welcome back my boy simply squad missed you bro it's gonna be a lit year it's gonna be our mill year hopefully so drop a like if you're gonna be here the whole journey man thank y'all so much for watching i love you all and as always keep grinding falling falling Ooh. 2k we never be falling yeah. retro she never be calling still hitting shots while they steady be taunting falling falling Falling, 2K we never be falling. Retro she never be calling. Still hitting shots while they steady be.